Hello everyone, Elenko reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2016. We talked to Pipistrel today about NASA selecting the company's electric power plants for research for its X-57 flight program. So Pipistrel has been participating various symposia on electric flight topics, including uh, the CAFE symposia in California, and we've taken part in NASA-sponsored challenge, challenges, uh, the PAV in 2007, GAT 2008. So uh, NASA knew that Pipistrel is undertaking uh, electric flight efforts since 2007, and um, one plus one made two, and uh, we started talking about their own effort and uh, interest in researching electric flight topics. So uh, there came to be quite quickly um, a cooperation where we prepared a complete set of power packages, three of them actually, uh, for them to research various areas of uh, what it takes to bring an electric aircraft to flight, from battery storage, from communications issues, EMI, um, uh, RFI, uh, different uh, degrees of controls, how you control electric motor, cooling, and uh, then after also the interactions between various propellers and electric motors. So the Taurus Electro G2 uses a 40 kilowatt electric motor, which is a permanent magnet uh, synchronous engine um, direct drive. So it spins at around 2200 RPM with an equivalent of a 50 horsepower output. This is the motor that uh, NASA selected for their, uh, for their endeavors. And uh, the motor itself was not prepared specially in any way. Um, so it's basically a stock motor that you find flying on our aircraft. Pipistrel is currently delivering two types of electric aircraft. One is the electric motor glider already mentioned with a 50 horsepower equivalent powertrain system. That is available as a propulsion kit as well. So anybody can come in, purchase the kit, install it on an airframe they feel it's suitable for. The other electric product is the uh, Alpha Electro, which is a conventional airframe, a trainer type airframe. Uh, with a 60 kilowatt uh, electric powertrain that's also available as a kit for other airframe integrations. That's an 80 horsepower equivalent and basically a direct re replacement for a Rotex 912 power plant. So when you're talking about electric flight, in particular battery powered electric flight, um, two features come to mind. Um, it's of course noise, the perceived noise is much, much, much lower than what you would find on any conventional propulsion type. But the other aspect is also the practicality. So there is no fuel involved, nothing smells, nothing leaks. Essentially you charge up your aeroplane as you charge up your mobile phone and when it's ready to go, uh, it, it literally is started up at the flick of a switch. There's no startup procedure, there's no pre-flight procedure because the system, at least the system that we produce, it checks itself. NASA recently launched the X-57 electric flight demonstration campaign, flight campaign, and uh, what Pipistrel has been doing, uh, providing the propulsion kits so far, uh, I think has been in preparation for the actual test program. Whether the components will see flight on that program or not, uh, we do not know at the moment. But uh, lessons learned will definitely be carried over. So lessons learned about control of electric systems, about how to handle different EMI issues and different strategies, uh, propeller interactions. This is all that NASA did test and uh, possibly will continue to test in the future to improve their own designs and then hopefully also feedback to the industry so that we can improve our design in the next iteration.